Hi, my name's Ziggy Ramo, and we're at Big Sound with A U Review. Welcome to Big Sound. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> um, thoughts on being in Brisbane so far? How's the vibe been for you? Yeah, really cool. I mean, my dad's from Mackay, so oh, cool. I've spent okay. a bit of time in Brisbane. Go for Brisbane Broncos. Yeah. So yeah, I love Brisbane. It's been amazing. It's fun. And um, how you have you been anticipating performing at a festival like this? Ah, uh, really cool. I mean, we had our first showcase last night, and. Yeah. Um, I kind of like my manager was, he was giving me like, he was making me a little bit fearful of like that the audience would be quite cold because it's industry and it's a showcase. But um, we have like quite a big arc and like narrative in our showcase. So the fact that we were able to do it and have the audience connect and, yeah. and the room was just like full of love. So that was beautiful. It's a really cool feeling when you're, you know, you're at something like this where there's so much happening at so many different venues. You don't know what the crowds are going to be like. Yeah. When you have a really solid turnout, um, full of enthusiasm, it really makes you feel like you yeah. knocked it out of the park. And I mean, like, I'm not so concerned with like a numbers thing because that's out of my control. But yeah. like, when I start and I have people in front of me, like, I just want to try and make that connection yeah. so like it was yeah it, it, we did have a great turnout and that was awesome but like the most amazing thing was i i genuinely felt like the connection yeah with people and so that was just yeah it was a absolute honor yeah i mean talking about connection and music i feel like that's something your name has become synonymous with this year i mean every every review i've been reading every kind of high pop of singles that I've been reading it's all about how much your lyrics are connecting with people the messages behind the songs are connecting with people um, I suppose when you're writing the music is that ever something you're thinking about or is it much more of a, an insulated process um so like the way I describe it is like a bit of a dichotomy like sure. I make like selfless music yeah but it's very selfish because like <laughs> For me, it took me 20 years of my life to figure out who I was and and to figure out my identity and like to be real with who I was and to be able to like take off mm -hmm. the mask and the layers like because we wake up and then it's like go do life and yeah. like you don't have a menu and you don't have like the capacity and yeah. understanding of like knowing of how to deal with everything that you're presented with. So like for me, uh, it was just about like music's really therapeutic for me so it took me time as a person to realize who i was mm -hmm. and who i wanted to be um so then music just kind of like became an extension of my counseling like it was just therapeutic yeah. so i just write what i can um resonate with and i yeah. think like my authenticity kind of is what people connect with yeah. because like I think one thing I can guarantee is like if you listen to a, a song of mine you get me yeah um, and if people connect with that like I, I can't control how people respond to my music like all I can control and that's what I always say like the gratification and, and pride in my art isn't about how people respond to it because yeah. One, I don't think that's sustainable or healthy, but two, it's out of my control. Yeah. Like this is something I love to do and I love to release this toxicness and, and or release this joy and happiness or yeah. any feeling through my music because it's just like a vessel and a mechanism for me to, to release that. So I'm always like, all that stuff is like a massive bonus and it always spins me out, but like, all the gratification for me comes like when we get the master back yeah. and I get to sit and listen and I just know how much love and and um, teamwork has gone into making that like three minutes or four minutes or however long happen. And like just hearing that is just like crazy. And then on top of that, if people connect with it, it's just Bob Dylan has this really amazing quote um, and he's like, with your art, like, what can you do but inspire people yeah. like what greater gift yeah. is there than to inspire and connect um yeah so the fact that like people that it's 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 still surreal to me that you're sitting here being like when i've heard your name <laughs> i've heard connection like that's crazy to yeah. me yeah it's cool though like because a lot of the a lot of the great i suppose a lot of the um 
the hype I've been hearing about you has been from a largely younger fan base, which I think is awesome. Um, I feel like we're in an, in an industry now where more and more young people are being given more of a voice and more of a platform. Um, as an artist, how crucial do you think that platform is for younger people to be utilising? Massive. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, so I guess a bit of context, like context about mm. me and who I am and why I do what I am. Um, I've always known that I wanted to serve my people. Mm. I mean, and when I speak of serving my people, I'm Indigenous and non-Indigenous. Yeah. So when I say serve my people, I mean serve humanity. Yeah. And they're not even humanity, just the beings of of this yeah. existence like for me like in my indigenous culture we talk about being the gatekeepers of this world mm -hmm. like we talk about how this the ancestors and the spirits of animals trusted us to to look over and guide and respect them um so for me it's all encompassing and you know after i finished high school like music is since i was 15 i knew it's what i wanted to do and it was my yeah. passion i mean since i was born it's been a massive part of my life yeah. but I didn't know if that was gonna be selfish in the sense of like just following sure. a passion for me and not serving my people. Cause there's, um, there's this ideology within my culture, indigenous culture, and it says like, leave the space you occupy better than you found it. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, I didn't know if I could use my passion of music to do that because I didn't know who I was. So if I didn't know who I was, how could I use music to do that? So yeah. for me, I, I I went and worked with public health up in East Arnhem Land where I grew up and I, I was working with preventing chronic disease and I got really passionate about Indigenous health mm -hmm. and I was like, I, I know that I had the capacity to study but I didn't want to do a degree just for the sake of doing a degree. Sure. Um, and then I got really passionate about health so I was like, I'm going to go be a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> and I, like a logical I, conclusion. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't study science in high school but I just... Yeah, I made up my mind and I did it and I did a bunch of study and exams and I got a short entry into medicine and I'm two and a half years through my three year undergrad. Amazing. And I, yeah, I have another four years after that. Um, and this semester was the first semester I had to defer because of music. Yep. Um, so for me, it's a trade off. It's like I could either finish my degree and go and implement yeah. like positive changes within the community and delivering culturally appropriate health, which is directly going to impact indigenous health. Um, or I could do music. Yeah. And it's like, so if I do music, it has to mean something and it has to be for something. And the fact that I'm able to combine, because as much as I'm passionate about health, like, and it really interests me, like science and, and I mean, medicine isn't, this, it's not, the same passion that I have for music. Yeah, like music is just intrinsically in me. Yeah. And it's something that I've always connected to. Um, and it's something that my blood has a connection to music that runs 50,000 years long, you know? So the fact that I can combine my passion for music with my, my passion for trying to serve my people. And as I said, that's the world, that's mm. all the beings that exist um, is special. So I think like, to, to not utilize the platform, I, I just, I question what's it for? Like, yeah. like we are not self-reliant. We as humans need community to survive. Yeah. I mean, that's how we're here today. So if I can like spread understanding through love and, and try and bring people together and like, I, I knew from a very young age, I wasn't probably going to be alive for the change that I long for mm. um, but that's okay because as long as I play my role and and do everything to the fullest that I can do yeah. then that's that's all your, the nourishment your, my soul um, requires you're playing into it as well you know even if it doesn't happen in our lifetime it's oh exactly you know, it's a process exactly and I have to it, then that's a great thing I have to live with myself every day as yeah. well so it's like as long as I know each day that I'm doing what I can. Yeah. That's that's all I can do because everything else is out of my control other than my actions. Definitely. Um, talking about trying to do a medical degree in between having a flourishing music career, <laughs> um, your time management skills must be off the chain. Like how have you managed to balance study with, with music? Uh, I have an amazing 
team and support <laughs> network. I, I always say I wish like I had that in high school. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I say like a, a win for the Ziggy yeah. uh, Ramo project is a win for a lot of amazing people yeah. who have so much love and support and my publicist is sitting right there and <laughs> she's amazing and my whole team is and it's not even my team just the whole team yeah. because it's it's about fostering an environment of collaboration and sure. and and you know cuz i always say like my creative expression is through creating music yeah. but it's like my manager's creative outlet is is doing the management thing like my publicist is doing the public thing like and i can't do that yeah like i'm i'm not trying to do that either yeah. <laughs> like i'm trying to do more more stuff that i yeah. like to do so like the in terms of the studying and everything like that's the support of my family the support of those close to me yeah. the amazing team that i have like i I've, i play with a band um called the love and it's five non-indigenous guys and myself and each night those boys non-indigenous get up and create the soundscape for me to tell my truths sure, and wow. tell my experiences yeah. and it's like the fact that we're able to bring together humans and people regardless of experiences regardless of race and work towards trying to leave this better than we found we it. Into it yeah yeah so i mean i would love to sit up here and be like yeah my design management <laughs> is a one but we can edit that uh, yeah. if you want. <laughs> no, no, I just like, I, yeah. an amazing team. And I think a willingness to accept help. Because yep. when I was younger, I was so bad at it. Yeah. I like, I wanted to do everything myself. Um, now I like, the more help, the more hands I can get yeah, around definitely. me doing things is, is amazing. Well, you know, it comes down to that thing of, there are so many kind of jigsaw pieces, but yeah. it makes something great at the end. I mean, and madly says you know a master mastermind is a collection of minds so yeah that's like what i kind of try and live by that's cool well we're very lucky to have you doing what you're doing because it's i think it's sparking something really cool coming out of australian music at the moment so thank you so much for that oh thank you so much it's honestly my privilege i always like i always laugh like little kids ziggy talking trash like <laughs> in front of my parents and being like yeah i'm gonna do things and it's like then I get to come to Brisbane and get a microphone and and talk. And it's like, why are people listening to me? It's like, <laughs> one day I'm going to wake up and it's all just a dream. But no, I, I genuinely, I appreciate, um, I appreciate the platform so much. And the thing is, is like, without everyone, I'm not doing this. Like yeah. even the people who support my music, the people who run the interviews, the blogs, everyone, like it, it's... Like I said, I'm trying to make people understand that like a win for Ziggy Ramo is a win for all of us. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you. Nice. No